Ir Mayadid, the President of the Republic of South Sudan, Your Lordship, the Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court, Justice Maraga, um, the speakers of the two houses, um, former Vice President uh, Kalonzo Musioka, uh, former Vice President uh, Musalia Mudavadi. I don't know why we keep forgetting that uh, once upon a time Musalia was our Vice President. It, it may have been for a short time, but I also suffered the same fate. I was Minister for Home Affairs for two months. <laughs> the way. Um, Cabinet Secretary is present, Ambassadors and High Commissioners, leaders of majority in the two houses, our governors, who are present here, members of county assemblies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I said good morning. Good morning. God is good. All and all the time. Um, I'm going to make it brief. Uh, first, I want to congratulate the parliamentary choir I think to be fair to them, today's attempt was way superior compared to what it was last year. Uh, it would have been better though if uh, Kajado County had not come to perform. <laughs> but uh, I think it will help if we encourage them that uh, it, it was quite a step from where they were. So, Tongi and your team, please keep at it. I think you are, you are making progress. I also want to thank our speaker today, Dr. Michael Husting, for speaking to our hearts and our minds. And in a very special way that God has used him to speak to the leadership of Kenya and the people of our nation. Thank you very much. <laughs> and because you have been good to us, um, your request <laughs> for a prime minister Um, we have a retired one in Kenya, <laughs> and uh, we can. <laughs> and and since the constitution has abolished the position of prime minister in Kenya, so he may not have it any time soon. So uh, we will send you his CV. Maybe you can consider. <laughs> Um, in any case, in any case, we have had people from the UK helping us govern our country. So it may just be a good opportunity for us to pay back and send you something. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, Mr. President, we are gathered here at a good moment, and the prayer breakfast is a very special moment to us as the people of Kenya, because this is an occasion that we speak to ourselves candidly in a very straightforward manner without uh, considering who is in which party who is in government, who is in the opposition, who comes from what community. So this is a very special moment for us as Kenya. 
and I agree with Sam Bokisho that other countries may want to consider prayer breakfasts like this that bring people together. And um, we are, of course, gathered here for good purpose because the subject today is a new dawn for our country. And what we should do, all of us, responding to the call of our president, that we must read ourselves, our government, our institutions, and our nation of theft and wastage and corruption. It is a good moment. And it's a good subject for us to engage in. And theft and corruption is bad in any language. I will tell you, from my mother tongue, it is said, Mom Jorindet, Kotabne Kinindet. It means the following that a thief may be intelligent, but not more than the investigator. And I think it is uh, an encouragement to our investigative authorities that it is long held that the job that you do is possible. And as we've said as a nation, you have our support as you help us deal with the challenge that we have. In any case, Exodus 2015, the Ten Commandments, says, do not steal. It's as straight as that. Do not steal. Therefore, we are perfectly, not just as a nation, but it is also a spiritual fight. And as we do that, we must remember Exodus 2016, the following uh, verse, which says, do not bear false testimony. <laughs> the president and I were once victim or victims of schemes and machinations and false testimony. It took the hand of God and prayer for us to get out. And we do not want any Kenyan to suffer such again. And as we pursue this very noble course for the soul of our nation, we must remember to inspire the hawker to own a kiosk and the gentleman who owns a kiosk to own a shop and the one who owns a shop to own a mini market and the one who owns a mini market to own a supermarket and a wholesale. We must remember to inspire the person who walks to buy a bicycle and the one who rides a bicycle to buy a border border and the border border guy to buy a tuk-tuk <laughs> and the tuk-tuk gentleman to buy a second-hand vehicle and the one of the second-hand vehicle to buy a new car. That we must. Because as we've been told by the speaker, this nation does not belong to 
the elite alone. It belongs to 45 million Kenyans. And finally, I have a confession to make. Finally. 